Hey, welcome back. Last time we made this sketch for for the simple calculator app, and today my goal is to make the logo for this app and also come up with a name for that because simple calculator app isn't just we need a name, okay? So let's get started with this. Here we're in Figma and now that I'm seeing this again with fresh eyes, I actually want to change this just a little bit. Oh, and you should really name your layers. Don't do this. This is bad. So, I do want to give this a little bit more room. I'll push that up. And then make the background and just notch it just a little bit higher. And then I'll try to change that. Okay, so. I think it looks a little bit better. Let's see in the in the, in the prototype. Okay, mm, yeah, uh, I think yeah, I think this is slightly better in my opinion. But yeah, so to come up with a name, I've been using this site called Namelix, and well. I highly recommend you check it out and try it for yourself. It's completely free. And you just basically input some words here that you want to use to generate the name. I mean, the name. So what would be nice, like a calculator. Later. And then a map. <coughs> Sorry. And then um, what else? like equation plus minus let's let let's try with this so if we generate I mean medium and short and then the style uh, I guess brand name or misspelling these are also really good and of course compound words but let's see what it makes for us. Uh, okay, so I'm not immediately seeing something super nice. I calculator. Well, this is an iOS app. Math M, maybe. I'll I'll look at this for a while and get back to you when I find something well when I have found something useful so see you in a bit okay so I didn't find many but I found two names from the name links but neither neither of them are <coughs> really good so I don't think we're gonna be using these but instead I think we're gonna be using one of these because eval really it really describes the app. It's literally evaluating the uh, equation here, and also for some reason it's really trendy to append the name app after the name. So maybe we go with this one. I don't know yet, but eval. That's what it's going to be. For the logo, I think we're going to be going with something very very simple, since this is a simple calculator app, and. <coughs> Well, let's start off with making a frame for the icon, and it's 512, the icon size, at least on Android it is. I'm not so sure about iOS, but I'm not targeting iOS, so I don't care. And let's call it that icon, like so, and I was thinking maybe Maybe to have like, just to have the equals button, and maybe the plus and minus in this kind of a formation in the icon, probably. Um, oh yeah, also let's add a circle that is 230. Like so. Because Android doesn't use the whole space, it 
generates all the assets from this so that real icon is somewhere closer to within this region and then there are some extra space around it so I have found that when your icon or logo is within this area it fits pretty nicely in, in, in there but anyway um, I'll, I'll make something and come back to you when once I have something so see you soon So here we have some logos, well this didn't go anywhere, <clears throat> but this, this might work, it looks okay, although my squircle outline, it, it, it's not the squircle that is used anyway, I have to make a better template at some point, but yeah, problem is I don't know which one of these is better, like this, it looks good. it's clean, but then this is more interesting. But the problem is that it represents the delete button, but in the real app the delete button is not here, it's here. But does it matter? That is a bit off. It looks cooler. I guess. Well. Mm. I think we don't, we're gonna go with this. It's it's clean, it's nice, and um, I like it. I think I, I think it's okay. It could be better, but it's simple, and this is it's a simple calculator, and yeah, yeah. I think we're done here. So. Today we made the logo and came up with the name for the app and it didn't take too long. I was expecting this to be a longer process but anyway, I think in the next episode we'll be starting to actually code this application using React Native and well, it's gonna be interesting, I don't know. There are a lot of elements that are going to be very difficult, but I'll do my best to do something. I don't know. But hey, anyway, hope you like this episode. Um, if you have any comments on 
or thoughts or ideas leave them in the comment section and if you want to see more please subscribe and until next time bye bye